Hello YouTube, this is Bob Henderson 1 and at this moment I'll be showing you how to remap MIDI in GarageBand and in my previous video you would have seen that I was using a different keyboard that had a sustain outlet but I don't have a different um, sustain pedal for it so I'll be using my Suzuki Digital Ensemble HP150X um, digital keyboard which looks like this uh, with the sustain already built in with it. Um, I have here my MacBook Pro with my USB middle cable plugged in and a separate output and the end of the MIDI cable is plugged into the back of the keyboard in there somewhere. And if you're confused as to how to set up MIDI you can watch my first video. Alright and since I've shown you my setup here um, my volume is also down. Um, yeah, this is just turned on. Just turn it on. You do nothing else to your keyboard. Just turn it on. Have your volume down. And that's it for the setup. And now I guess we'll move to the computer. Oh, and also have it connected to a Roland um, amplifier. Just because I want it to. And now we'll move on to the computer. Alright, here we are at my desktop. And the first thing you want to do is open up GarageBand or whichever software you're using. But I'm going to teach you how to remap MID on GarageBand. So, a new project, Piano, and start that project. We're just going to test here to make sure that our MIDI setup is working. And it seems to be working so far. And sometimes if it doesn't work, what you're going to do is go to Audio MIDI Setup and just add a new configuration if it doesn't work for you. Sometimes I experience that it doesn't work, and that's what I have to do. Otherwise, you should be set to go. Alright, and so some people are saying that their sustain was not working as supposed to but it seems here that my sustain works pretty well because that's a C chord that's not sustained. Uh, let me get the. That's not sustained, but then that is sustained with the sustain pedal. So I'm going to play a general C, G, um, whatever this is. And that was on sustain. You can see every time I hit the sustain pedal, that little note shows up there at the bottom. That little whatever that is. Anytime you play a note, actually, it shows up. But just for my sustain, it shows. But you hear my sustain there. And if it's not working for you, what you need to do is download a software called MIDI Pipe. And once you do that, just launch it. And it gives you this thing here, and just ignore GarageBand, which says you have two new inputs available. Um, go back to MIDI Pipe. And what you do first is go to MIDI In, and you drag that. So go to MIDI In and drag that there. And your MIDI should be your USB MIDI device. That's usually what it is. And click Hijack. And again, just forget garage. I'm actually gonna just move garage band over so that you can. Right, okay, so you have that. And next, what you wanna do is go to A list and drag that over. And A list basically shows you what note you're playing. Like if I play C, it shows me all the information that I need to know, like what channel it's on. And it says off note C or whatever note I, it is I'm playing. So, so C, G, A, F. And that's just what I played. And what you want here is just basically these numbers because that's what you're going to be remapping. And if also I hit my sustain, it shows there. It says damper pedal on and off or sustain in parentheses. So, let's say your sustain is not working or it's playing a different note. 
what you do is go to uh, key mapper. This is what you always want to use, key mapper. And you drag it over. And drag it on top of A-list. You want all of this in the order that I have it here or else it's not going to work. And at key mapper, you put the key that you want to change in here to the key you want to change into here. So you go back to A-list and you hit your sustain or whatever note it is you want to change. So you, my sustain is channel 64. So what I would do is go to key mapper and go to 64 and change it to whatever other note I want to change it to. Let's say um, this high D over here, which is 74. So I change it from 64 to 74. Where is 74? D5. So that whenever I hit the sustain, it should play D5 instead of whatever my sustain is, I guess. Hold on, I'm confusing myself here. Alright, yeah, okay, my sustain is 64, as it says here. And whenever I hit my sustain, it should play D5. And once you're done changing whichever key it is, you go to output and select MIDI out and bring it over here and it should be MIDI pipe virtual output one that's usually what it is but um, you can mess around with it it's either one of these but it's usually this one for me and it should work as, as it's supposed to so if you go back to GarageBand For some reason, GarageBand still has my sustain as it's supposed to be, but let's say I want to change a different note, but that that's usually should work for you. Um, I don't know why that's not working right now. Oh, uh, change that back. Oh, you don't want to have pass through. You don't want to have that on either. You want to have it just as I have it here. Okay. Your changed key. None of these selected. Do not touch any of these. And your MIDI in. And it should be working. For some reason, for me, it's not working. But let's say you want to change a different note that's not your sustain. But that should work. That really should work for your sustain to change it. But let's say I want to change a different note. Say I want to change C, which is 48, to this D over here, which is 62. So I'll go to Key Mapper. And change 48 to 62 and you can hear that both of their notes now play at the same time as I hit one key they both play let me go back to garage band so you can see that but that's how it should work that's how it should work in garage band here I hit one note and both of them play at the same time Right? But if I hit the single D note, it doesn't happen. But if I hit the C note, it does change. So that's how it should work for all your other, for any other key you select to change. And you don't want that selected or anything else selected at all. And then you can go ahead and save that if you want to save that. I have it on my desktop. Or you can just have it there for the time being, but you can just X this out if you want it, if you don't want it anymore. And to change it back, you just X out the application, I guess, or just go back to A-list and just change it back to 62. Or, I mean, 48, keep it as 48. To keep it the original note it was. Because as you can see now, it's just a single note. But if I go back and change it to whatever else, it becomes something else. Uh, yeah, so that's how you remap the MIDI. I'm, I'm pretty. I'm really sorry that the sustain thing is not working. I guess. I guess it just won't go for some reason. I mean, because I really have no need to remap my sustain since it's already... Wait, let me just see what it is in 
Logic Pro. Um, I'm not too sure why. My it's three o'clock. Oh, uh, why my sustain is not remapping here. All right, let's just lower the volume of GarageBand so it doesn't interfere. All right, so on Logic Pro, so on Logic Pro here, it's the C here is off. And you can see the notes that show here also. Uh, the C seems to be off in Logic Pro. It's, oh yeah, because see, I still have it changed to um, A sharp. So if I just change it back to 48. It does the same thing in Logic Pro also. So let me see if I can change my sustain in Logic Pro. Uh, my sustain is 64. So this is, this is very simple. It's show 64 here. Um, let's say I want to change 64 to, I don't know. Uh, sorry about my clock. Uh, to 70, to 60. Let's see if that works. So I'm changing, trying to change my sustain to place C. And no, it's still not working. I guess it just can't remap um, the sustain. And nothing here is going to change that. Not the key mapper, but... I mean, if I have another way of trying to... I'm pretty sure it'll work for anyone else who has a separate sustain and not a fixed sustain as I do. So, it should work as I said it should but for me it's not working but I'll post another video if I can find another way but for any other note for any other note you want to remap it should work as shown before so let's just go back to GarageBand and oh yeah the volume <laughs> that's my sustain And post any comment if you have any questions and I should post another video of how to remap the MIDI for drums that's been a big request also um, so I'll post that sooner or later thanks for watching comment rate and subscribe